Uh, our next speaker uh, is an interaction uh, design student at the University of Michigan. Please welcome Ambika Vora. So looking at this, you might be wondering, well, what is her talk on? Is it about circles? Is it about shapes? Um, but my talk isn't about circles at all. It's actually about how to tell a good story and why this skill is so valuable and pervasive in everything that we do. And with this, I just shared the first principle of good storytelling, which is to make your reader curious. Um, if you give away the plot even before you start the story, that means that unfortunately no one is going to pay attention to what you have to say. Um, and that's problematic. And you might be thinking, well, you know, I'm not five. I don't need my attention grabbed. But the truth is, we're all kind of like a kid. Um, we're like a kid who doesn't want to eat their peas. And um, it makes it really hard when you're kind of like this. It's not green Skittles. There's peas. You have to eat them, but you don't want to. Um, but a story can somehow make that OK. And all someone has to do is be like, well, it's not a spoon of peas. Whoosh, it's an airplane, open wide. And, and you believe it, and you're like, OK, I'll eat that. And it's the idea of making something really mundane into something suddenly interesting. And that's a lot more powerful than you might think. And just as this spoon is a metaphor for an airplane, metaphors can be used to explain complex emotion or logic very simply, where paragraphs and paragraphs of text could fall short. Um, so I could talk about what it feels like to feel weak, or what it feels like to feel frail um, or knocked down. Or I could just say something like, it feels like a candle in the wind. And suddenly, you just get it. And this principle also applies to product design. Uh, people were having a hard time figuring out how to get files back after removing them. And Apple came out with the trash can icon. And suddenly, people just got it, because it mapped to something that they were familiar with. And um, Apple actually ended up patenting this. Um, and they made millions off of technically trash. <laughs> so. <laughs> So yeah, that just shows how important storytelling is. And storytelling really is everywhere. And um, it, it shows you that you can learn from things that uh, might not always connect at first, but start to connect later. And so one of the things that I always push is to guide your reader by asking them to um, reflect by asking questions. So one of my favorite children's books says, reader, can you imagine your own father not voting against your being sent to a dungeon full of rats? Now, that's a, definitely a powerful question, and it evokes a lot of emotion. Um, and that's really important, because we think we're like the left, uh, where we're equal parts logic, equal parts emotion. We're actually really like the right, and we carry our stories with us everywhere. And we're affected by all of those things, some of them unknown. So if I show you an objective thing like this, you say, OK, average cost of college, in-state 20 grand, out-of-state 36 grand. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um, but you're not really feeling a lot of impact, and it might not be as memorable. But then if I show you a chart like this, and I say that in-state tuition costs the same as 2,000 moleskin notebooks, and out-of-state tuition costs the same amount as this 1955 Fulton classic tugboat that I found on yachtworld.com, <laughs> now you're listening, and now you're captivated, and you're in this state of flow. And it's a state where you're so captivated that you're losing track of time, and you stop wondering, well, did I turn the stove off? You, you just hope that you did, <laughs> and you're more immersed in the story than anything. So yeah. Oh, but wait. I, I actually, I confess that I tricked you, um, because that's not the end. <laughs> and for a minute, you were probably like, wait, is that the end? It seemed a little abrupt. Um, that's because I had to, of course, introduce the principle of the plot twist, which is very key to your story. <laughs> um, so you know, it's good to keep your audience on their toes. Make sure you add in something unexpected to make them remember your story. Um, and so from there, it makes a very important point of a story to end gracefully. Uh, so you don't want to just suddenly end. You want to go very slowly from your climax to your denouement, tie up your loose ends, add in unity and closure. Um, that is to say, have your story come full circle. So I lied. I guess my, my talk is on circles after all. <laughs> and, and that's a great way to end your story, to have the beginning and the end tie together so that your reader knows that your story did indeed just end. What I want to leave you with today is that storytelling is everywhere. And it doesn't matter if you're making a slide deck or just having a conversation with someone, introducing yourself. All of these principles apply to help you be a better communicator. 
Um, I also want to drive home the point that only you see the world the way that you do, which means that that makes your story incredibly unique, which is really special. Thank you. Thanks, Ambika.